Hey everybody, how's it going today? I figured I would go ahead and knock out another kit review for you guys. As you can see, this is a Tamiya uh, Republic P47D Thunderbolt bubble top. Um, I picked up this kit at the local hobby store about $52, roughly $52 US dollars. Um, cute little story about this. I had my youngest daughter with me at the hobby store. And it was between this one and then the Razorback um, P47. And my daughter picked this one. And the reason why she said she liked this one is because she liked the uh, checker pattern on the front of the aircraft. I really can't argue with that reasoning. Um, I'm a sucker for a good checker pattern myself. So here she sits in all of her glory. So let me go ahead and pop the top off here. And here's the instruction manual. Pretty standard fare, um, I would say, overall for this kit for Tamaya. Um, you know, wonderfully illustrated. Here are the decals. I'm not going to pull them out from underneath the tissue paper, but as you can see, it comes with the uh, checker pattern for the front. It even comes with the invasion stripes uh, for the decals. And of course, your US symbols and, the, and the, uh, all the other designations and things. So, nicely done decals uh, for Tamaya. So, here are those set those aside here of course is the instruction manual it's your standard fold out instruction manual it's not a booklet like some others but nothing too crazy in here um the nice thing is i mean obviously if you guys know anything about tamaya kits this kit does give you some different options um that you can do for the aircraft as far, you know as far as like the the cowling, you know, if you want them opened or shut or, you know, however you want them to be, give you uh, options for your uh, propellers. So things like that. So, you know, you can customize it how you want it to be depending on uh, what version you might be building. And of course, it comes with a couple of different uh, fuel tanks you can make. So, all pretty nice. And then of course on the back portion of the manual it gives you your stencils and everything. Uh, that would be on all the aircraft. And then of course your primary decal locations depending on which one you're building. So, like I said, pretty nice little kit. So, I also find it interesting that this one actually has U.S. symbols on both wings instead of just one. Interesting. Let me see if it, on the other one. Just, I'm just looking at it of curiosity. Yep, look at that. On that one, it's got it on both wings, too. So, I don't know why that is. Um, I like doing research on aircraft, too, when I build them, so... I'll find out why it's got it on both wings instead of just the one, so pretty, pretty interesting. Alright, let's get into the kit itself. There is the clear parts, the cockpit on there. So, pretty nice. Here's the fuselage of the plane. Um, as you Come to expect from Tamaya, good detailing on the, you know, for the uh, panel lines and things like that. So, yeah, looking pretty sharp. Some other bits of the aircraft there. Looks like your vertical stabilizer on there. Side of it, of the fuselage. So, here are the wings. <coughs> and of 
course you get the option for your flat position so if you want it down or um, down or up or straight back depending on what configuration you're going for so this is probably one of the more expensive um, Tamiya kits that I picked up and right away I've noticed that you get more options you get more detailing options well, there's the inside of the wheel well um, the underside of the wing so you get more detailing options um, that you can do you, you know obviously you get with the you know and then options with the propellers and the flaps and everything else so um, if you can afford this kit I mean, just on based on initial impressions, um, I would say go ahead and pick one of these up. Now, and I have seen uh, several of these built, and they they look really nice uh, when they're all built up. So I can't wait to get into this one. So this is going to be fun to do. So your different propeller options. Looks like you get three options if I'm looking at this right. Maybe that's two. Might be half and half. Uh, those those top two might be one half of the same piece. So, and then of course there are the fuel tanks, or at least two of them. There's the one your your flat uh, fuel tank there. Engine pieces. So yeah. Pretty nice looking kit. There's your cowling options. And then of course the front of the plane there. And some more bits and pieces here, more fuel tanks. Got your wheels there. Bomb. Another fuel tank. So rocket launchers so yeah you could definitely deck this thing out with some uh, nice weaponry if you uh, so choose and this just looks like the same as the other one so yeah there you have it guys um, like I said this will set you back a little more than some of the other Tamiya kits at least you know that I've picked up I mean I've been lucky to find some and usually they're like the older kits um, I, I've been lucky to find some for as little as you know 16 bucks I think I picked up uh, the Japanese zero that I did for like $16 so um, they are out there but like I said this one I chose to go ahead and support my local hobby store um, you know everyone's kind of going through a hard time so I figured I'd support them and, and uh, just pick it up there you can see there's illustrations on the box that's another thing too I really like about um, some good box art at least it gives you an idea of what the built aircraft would look like so other side it's actually got another version of the aircraft so but I will be doing the one with the checker nose um, on there it's actually the reason why I picked up the kit of course with the recommendation of my six-year-old daughter but hey she's not uh, she's got good taste so she wasn't wrong on, on the fact that this one actually looks pretty cool so anyway guys that's all I got for this good little review uh, if you guys could go ahead and give my uh, give the video a like um, subscribe to my page, share my page, hit the notification button um, for the channel and everything. 
that would be great and I would really really truly appreciate it so anyway guys I will catch you all next time happy modeling